This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, honey! We're continuing, and we are loading... Yes, end of chapter 5. Here we go. Chapter 5 of chapter 2. Yes, I'm pretty sure we went through the tips. It hasn't been a while. Did we see this one already? I guess I forget if we saw this one or not. I'll, I'll figure it out pretty quickly. Someone from Shion's house came to get me in a station wagon. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, we had seen this. This is where we met her bodyguard. Okay, never mind. Uh, is there a way to go back now? There we go. Yeah, we met her bodyguard, who, like, drove us in the car, and he looked, like, crazy... Crazy ripped. Alright, let's continue. I like mysteries. I'm down for the mystery aspect of things. But also, it's Halloween time, so if they want to get more psychological horror, I'm actually I'm actually okay with that. But, alright, alright. I would use this horror in different ways with each chapter. That's kind of cool! I just hope they don't go heavy in jump scares, because those aren't actually scary. The next day... Oh, how are we going to deal with the fallout for this? It was a strange day where Mion was desperate to regain her composure. Every time our eyes met, she would say that she had something to do, or that she had to use the washroom and run off. Unable to just watch, Rena was taking care of her the entire time. Great, so it's going to be us and Satoko. I wonder why. <laughs> it is hard to explain, because I still don't think it makes perfect sense right now, but maybe it'll add up more later on. <laughs> Based Rika. <laughs> Alright. Hmm? Turning around, I saw Rena calling me from the hallway. I wondered what it was. Hey, Rena. Are you gonna stab me? <laughs> yeah! We thought we were going out with Mion, but we were actually dating her twin sister, kind of, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that. It's kind of a bad situation. <laughs> Good. You, you gotta you gotta turn the crank to re reboot her. <laughs> I was joking, Rena. Saying that, she made a chopping motion. This was back in the days when the TV had the two bunny ear antenna, and you had to maneuver them around to get the proper reception. You know I can't tell if you're joking or not, right? <laughs> I miss the days when there were only two channels, and only one of them actually got p pictures. The, the best channel, obviously, was PBS. <sighs> Yeah, because that's healthy. Never happened, huh? I see. Well, that's one way to run from it. That's not going to be that simple. I don't think Shion's gonna be like, uh, excuse me, we're definitely dating. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to that then. Even though I shouldn't have been at fault, for some reason I felt guilty. The one at fault here was the one who knew about the entire situation and pretended to be Mion for an entire day. Shion! Well, technically speaking, Shion never said she was Mion. Ugh, but she never once said that she was... Yeah, see, exactly. Ugh. What 
am I supposed to be angry at? Seeing me stomping the ground impatiently, Rena giggled. Rena talked in a calm voice as her hair rustled in the wind. <laughs> Following this curt reply, Rena looked up at the sky and stretched. Uh-huh. I, I, I kind of doubt that. Copying Rena, I also began to stretch as I looked at the sky. The clear sky towered into the distance. Oh, sweet, yes. Now I can ride my Segway home. It all took. If all it took for everything to go back to normal was to leave Mion alone for today, then it was an easy decision to make. That's true. I get that. I'm, I'm more of a big picture type as well. I don't deal with a whole lot of the nuances of things. That day was the shortest day of my life. Rana was talking to Mion while accompanying, accompanying her around the entire time. It looked like a really fun conversation, so I reflexively thought about joining in, but I had made a promise not to. It seemed that Mion was also trying her best to ignore me. So likewise, I did my best to ignore her. For the first time in a while, I ate lunch alone. Mion and Rena ate theirs by themselves. As I let out a sigh in my ashen mood, Rika-chan came over and petted me on the head. Okay. Rika, no offense, but I don't think you're quite aware of the situation we're in right now. <laughs> I'd never say it like that. It made it sound like we were having romantic problems. I didn't like that one bit. Hopefully the teacher wouldn't notice and call us to the staff room after school or something. I hope so. Hmm. もちろんなのですよ。僕は大人になったらすごいすごいのです。ああ、we'll <笑> from above, hitting me squarely in the head. That was weird. I love how she's like, how dare you call me a brat, then immediately does something bratty. Ha ha, harmless pranks, ha ha. Bane smash, pinch squeeze. It was a day I could thoroughly appreciate the value of having friends. I'm so glad I have friends who dump buckets of water on my head. Go figure. It's a new day! I could do without the friends that beat me up, though. That That's not a great one. <laughs> I didn't say that specifically. I did not say that. <laughs> Today was Saturday, so school ended in the blink of an eye. I was going to say that you call them high maintenance. It felt really good to go home with the sun so high in the sky. On any other day, our club would have been up to mischief during our ample after-school time, but today, Rika had a rehearsal for tomorrow's Watanagashi to go to. Well, that's okay. She found all ten power nuts uh, in between the years, so she's pretty swole now. The chapter 2 is called Watanagashi, so I have to imagine there's something really big that's going to happen there. 
The Watanagashi Festival everyone had been talking about was tomorrow, wasn't it? Actually, come to think of it, in Chapter 1, it was right around when we, at the end of the festival, that things started getting creepy, so... The festival being in June felt a little early to me, but the onset of summer came quickly this year, so the fit of the image of a summer festival uh, fit pretty well. We? Oh, is Satoko going to? Okay. Bye. Satoko and Rika waved to us energetically and then left. It's at your house! <laughs> Coming back from chapter one, I don't mind the, like, slice of lifestyle thing. I do think it's annoying when it gets, like, overly uh, uncomfortable. And like, ah, ha, 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 Keiichi, ha, ha, you're a pervert, ha, ha. Like that kind of thing. Or like spending two hours at Hooters one day. I could do without that. I don't mind the day-to-day -day interactions, though. It's just a lot of the time it's like, wow, these people are psychos. <laughs> Plus, I felt the story got way more interesting once you had kind of the creepy stuff happening. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, right, I remember. There was a shrine all the way up on that hill, wasn't there? It seemed far too grand for Hinamizawa. Karaoke at the shrine tonight! なるほどね。それなら立派なのも納得かな。みーちゃんちも今日の設営にはお手伝いに行くの？うん。男手がいるからね。We have the men for that. Male hands, huh? Well, I mean, I have nothing to do at home today, so. That's very nice of you, Keiji. We had done, we had bond dances and other festivals in the town I used to live in, but I didn't even know where they took place, much less wanted to help. You could say that I had absolutely no connection to the region. Having come to Hinamizawa, though, it really made me feel like this place was a home that I had returned to. Before I knew it, I harbored a little interest in the small community activity of preparing for a festival the day before. I get that. I don't want to brag, but I've helped take down the chairs at, at the end of church meetings, so I'm pretty strong. <sighs> How about we change the demographic for uh, visual novels? <laughs> Mion looked happy to hear that, but at the same time, her expression was complex, tinged with hesitation. This, this is why Ace Attorney is the best visual novel. Because it's, it's interesting and funny, but without doing all of these cliché anime tropes. Rena gave her the last push for me. Yeah! Okay, Rena. I wonder if we get to meet her grandma. I am interested to meet her grandma. Mion waved vigorously to us and left. As far as I could tell from her gallant retreating figure, she seemed to have recovered from the weak state she had yesterday. <laughs> sure! Rana began to giggle a fair bit in amusement. Did she like this sort of thing? Incidentally, me going along with it gave me a weird, hard-to-describe feeling. Did I turn myself into a plaything, or did they do it for me? 
Her grandma's probably the type to ask, where do you go to college? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. We don't know a whole lot about her grandma, other than that, like, she's she's got a lot of connections, and she kind of helped out with the uh, protesting the dam construction. Also, it's, it's interesting, because Rena, it seemed like she was kind of, like, hardcore crushing slash stalking us in Chapter 1, and now she seems to be, like, kind of shipping us with Mion. Hmm. If you Lena also could be the one uh, the one that doesn't try to break into my house. There it is. That's the kind of thing that I'm not cool with. That's just unseemly, Keiji. What the heck? I pull Rena's head into a tight grip and then start to pet it. That's weird. Oh, that's right! Her real name is uh, Reina, isn't it? Because we had a skit about that in Chapter 1. I got changed right away, and swinging a towel around my neck like Mion suggested, I set off for the shrine. And that beeping robust cicada. Yeah! But she still went hardcore stalker mode, so... Man, that was, that was the creepiest part of Chapter 1 by far, <laughs> was Rena stalking us. At the shrine, there were more people than you'd imagine even live in Hinamizawa here. Yes, look at all of the people here that we can see. All coordinating off areas and setting up tent frameworks, chatting amongst themselves as they did so. Alright, where is Mion? The liveliness of the Fralm didn't make it easy to look for her. I searched around as if I had already worked there, and suddenly the principal called out to me. Hmm? Yes, Principal! Oh yeah, Principal's gonna love that. <laughs> Thanks, man! I appreciate it. Spurred on by the Principal, I came upon a group of people setting up tents. <laughs> Vying is the worst thing you can do, apparently. <laughs> I hadn't found Mion yet, but I supposed I'd just get in her way if I ran into her. <laughs> well, you're gonna learn. Delighting in teaching a new skill to someone younger, plenty of people happily taught me all sorts of things. I love it when that that's a thing. It's so it it's kind of annoying if you try to do something that you don't know and like people kind of tease you or make fun of you for it. I like it when people are just like, oh hey, you want to learn a new skill? Cool, I'll help you out. But often oftentimes I find yeah. people do that more than like being like, oh, how, how do you not how do you not know how to skin a moose? I don't know why I use that as an example. What was once nothing more than a collapsed tent was raised on four splendid legs before my eyes in mere moments. Whoa. Seeing it put together like this is actually pretty moving. That's the first tent. We got like 70 more to set up. <laughs> yep. Keiichi, <laughs> listen to the nice man. <laughs> That's true. He is definitely trying to like be more one with the community. And that, that might help things out a bit more. Because like Everything started to go wrong in Chapter 1 when he's like, Everybody's conspiring against me! <laughs> but I don't think he'll be feeling that this time. I also still have no idea how this is connecting to Chapter 1. I'm, I'm just treating them as, like, parallel universes. 
They look light enough, so I thought they were, but they're heavy. Yeah, I, listen to man. Has man ever steered you wrong, KG? Said the man, lifting it with a grunt and taking it away under his arm. Either I'm weak or these old guys all have superhuman strength. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, aren't you a little young to be drinking beer? <laughs> not today, not in Hinamizawa. <laughs> Sweat dripped from my body. That does happen. I had been fully and completely absorbed in helping them. I would never have thought the cold barley tea from the Women's Society could taste this delicious. <laughs> Thank you, senor. I mean, senior. It was then that I realized a crowd had formed near the shrine a ways off. CG? When I took a closer look, I saw a girl dressed in a shrine maiden garb and a handful of old men looking like they were preparing for the ceremony together. I shouted, and it seemed like she heard me. There she is! Yay! I, I like the Shrine Maiden outfit on her. It's very, it's very nice, very modest. Very nice. Rika, positively exploding with vitality, answered me with a smile. The older guys with me watched Rika-chan as well, with distant gazes. Chama? Well, she had some time to practice. The old lady who gave me the tea clasped what looked like prayer beads in her hands and said, Sama, that's a that's going a bit far. And just like that, began to respectfully pray to her. Uh, don't pray to people, no, huh? I just remembered that they called it the Furude Shrine. Wasn't Rika-chan's full name Rika Furude? Yes, it is. The man standing next to me answered my question. Yeah, I don't want to worship Satan. Huh. I'd always gotten the feeling that she wasn't quite your average person, but it turned out she was from an esteemed family. Yeah, it's gotta be rough losing your dad when you're like, what, 10? Alright, enough of the lore. <laughs> oh boy! I'm really good at carrying chairs. We're going to Okonomiya, so we're probably going to see Shion. Yeah! She's supposed to be the reincarnation of Oyashiro, so the old people treat her like a mini goddess. It's kind of weird. Well, I'm sure Rika doesn't mind, because she's being worshipped, but... I'm just saying this is heresy. <laughs> You're gonna make me do more work? You volunteered. I can't tell if they know I'm a minor or not, but the older men all cheer me on, encourage me to do my best, and that the beer will be great! <laughs> beer is, like, not a very good, uh, type of alcohol. Although, admittedly, I don't like alcohol, but my favorite alcoholic beverages have been ales. Just because it's like, it's liquid bread, but I'd still rather eat real bread. <laughs> That's that's true. It wouldn't be an interesting visual novel character if they didn't have some kind of a tragic or interesting backstory. I passed by Mion. She was carrying a big cardboard box. It looked like she was right in the middle of working as well. Judging by the sweat seeping into her shirt, it seemed I wasn't the only one with his hands full. <laughs> we were worked to the bone until the sun began to set and it started cooling off. Watch! We're gonna go to Okonomiya, and they're gonna be like, Alright, we got the uh, uh, chairs in. Hey, let's go to Hooters and have a beer! <laughs> That's totally... Oh, wait! Maybe not. 